that's good for you. As you can probably hear in the video, it's windy and crunchy out. We got, I don't know, probably an inch and a half of ice or sleet, most people would call it. It wasn't freezing rain, thankfully. And uh, we're supposed to get anywhere from six to 10 inches of snow, which isn't a problem for us, but our mother-in-law, or my mother-in-law, does not have uh, a truck. And so six inches of snow is a bit much for her car probably. So I'm gonna go get the back blade from Jason so that I can plow her driveway and I'll probably even plow the road forward to the highway for her to be able to go to work and not have to worry about it. Missouri does plow all of the county roads and everything, but they don't plow the gravel roads, which I'm okay with because they'd probably scrape all the gravel off. And then we'd have mud roads. You plow on the road tomorrow? Looks like the county actually did plow the road, so I was wrong. They usually don't. I don't know if they just did because we we're supposed to get a lot of snow. But either way, we are going to go and plow my mother-in-law's driveway. Here you ready, Georgie? Come on in, buddy. Come on. So basically what we're gonna do this morning is we're gonna round up all of our lambs. And we're gonna separate them and just check on them. What we're checking for is just random things. See if anything seems off with them. Um, you know, any noises in their lungs. Um, runny butts. Uh, you know, pale gums. Anything that shows that they have some sort of health issue going on. We just want to check it and get it addressed and make sure that they are, uh, you know, going to be treated with what we need to treat them with if they have anything going on. The healthier they are, the healthier everybody is in here. Because just like humans with kids, same thing applies to lambs. You know, the more 
junk they spread around, the sicker everybody else gets. This right here tells me that somebody doesn't have or isn't feeling well. Either coccidia or it's possible they ate too much grain, but not likely because we turned everything down. So I'm leaning towards they have something going on with them. We will check into that. Spread some more hay out for them so they can get this stuff eaten so I can put more bales in. So just like I did last time, I'll spread that out real quick. Quickest thing for us to do is the center gates that we welded up. We're going to use that as a way to separate. Actually, yeah. We're going to push everybody up here and then we'll grab all the lambs out. And we'll throw all of them in what we call our staging pen. It's basically a pin that we actually have built into our setup so we can bring the skid steer in. So if one person needed to do something with a skid steer in here or a tractor, you could bring something in and not have to worry about animals getting out. Joey's by far the easiest one to catch because she's a bottle lamb. difficult to sort them this time mainly because we typically let all the adults outside to go eat their grain they're not getting grain today right now they're gonna get some later therefore it makes it a lot more difficult for us to get them the, the lambs when they go out they go out and run around but they come back in really shortly after because they have this whole barn I'm sure you've seen in videos previous where they just run circles and run laps and have lamb races to grab the pills that we're gonna give them. They're called super sulfa. And essentially what they do is they kill gut bacteria. We're gonna give them, depending on their size, up to two tablets. Um, so one or two tablets. The tablets are 800 milligrams each. And all it does is it kills what we believe is going to be the issue for them, which is coccidia. And coccidia basically is a, it's a I guess you'd call it a disease or an illness. Anyhow, it's bacteria that attacks the intestine wall linings and what it does is it makes it to where they can't digest or they can't absorb nutrients from the food that they're eating. It makes it to where they won't grow well, uh, also makes it to where they will struggle in life in general of getting nutrients because now if they get any parasite loads it'll bring them down much quicker because they've only got a certain section of their intestines that are functioning anyhow. 